difference formulas here. Basically, what I would uh, be doing on these two is I'm just going to do the sum and difference formula separately for here. So I'd have cosine of x, cosine of pi over 4, um, minus sine of x, sine of pi over 4. Did I memorize that correctly? Yep. OK. And then minus, I want to make sure I'm minusing the whole thing. So I'm going to use parentheses. But so now I'm going to do the difference. So that's going to be cosine of x, cosine of pi over 3. Oh, that's pi over 4. I wrote down the problem wrong. Yeah, it's pi over 4. Sorry. Cosine of pi over 4 plus the sine of x sine of pi over 4. All I'm doing, guys, is following the formulas. They're written right here. I just have them memorized because, obviously, I've been doing quite a bit of problems the last two days on this. OK? No, because I literally think about this. I've been doing about eight of these problems in the class. I have four of these classes. That's 24 problems I've done in the last two days. You don't even have 24 problems to do on your homework. OK? But does everybody see this? What I did. Now, I can get rid of these brackets. All I have to do to get rid of the brackets is just distribute that negative. Right? So if I multiply everything by negative 1, I'll have a negative cosine of x, and this would be a negative sine of x. Okay? So I introduced the parentheses so I didn't make that mistake. Because what does everybody do? They don't put parentheses and they just leave that negative and they don't and they leave that positive. Alright, so but now I need to simplify this. So fortunately for me, I noticed that these two are exactly the same. One's positive and one's negative. So therefore, I can combine them to get z z zero. And if you have, if you owe me a dollar and then you borrow another dollar, you now owe me two dollars. So if you have negative x minus x, that's negative two x. We have a negative sine x sine pi over 4 minus a negative sine x sine pi over 4. That gives you a negative 2 sine of x sine of pi over 4 equals 1. Now, um, let's look at this. What is sine of pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2? Okay, equals 1. This negative 2 and 2, that divides to 1. Now, all I have to do is use my inverse operations. And guys, remember you have to rationalize the denominator. So, my, so I've solved it. Sine of x equals negative square root of 2 over 2. But again, what are we looking for? We're looking for the x. What angle gives us negative square root of 2 over 2? Within 0 to 2 pi. So we know that positive pi over 4 gives me square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. But I need negative. When is sine negative? Down here, right? It's when negative down here. So it's halfway around the circle is 4 pi over 4. So an extra pi over 4 would be? Halfway around the circle is 4 pi over 4. An extra pi over 4 would be? 5 pi over 4. All the way around the circle is 2 pi, or 8 pi over 4. You're 1 less. You're 1 pi over 4 short, so you're at 7 pi over 4. And those are your two answers between 0 and 2 pi.